On today's episode, we're working on the hybrid axle and we're taking her to the next step. What's up guys? We are back working on the hybrid axle. Finally, I'm sure a lot of you guys were wondering when I was gonna get to it, but projects in between and life gets in the way. So what I wanna say first off is I'm going to check the straightness of this axle before I weld it solidly. If you remember in the previous video, uh, with the hybrid video, I had a jig, I mounted all this in there, set it up, I just put a couple of big tacks or stitches to hold it in place, and I wanted to check it out later. So I wanna give a shout out to Summit Machine in Hinton, Alberta for whipping me up these pucks and supplying this here big shaft to check straightness. So what I need to do is there's, there's two sizes of pucks here. These smaller pucks, they replicate the outer wheel bearings of this axle. These bigger pucks, what they're gonna replicate is the bearings inside of this third member. And the shaft will run through all of those bearing lookalikes. So what we need to do first is we need to take apart this sidekick third member, this, four, this set of 430 gears that I've got. And we're gonna take these out. We gotta mark the gears where they're at because we're gonna be putting the locker back into this, but we need this third member to drop in here with the pretend bearings so we can run our shaft all the way through and get it straight. So we're gonna take this apart and set these bearings in, drop it in place, bolt it down with a couple of bolts so where it is, then we're gonna run our shaft through and then we're gonna put our wheel bearing caps on and hopefully they just go right in where they're supposed to. If not, I'll cut these tacks and we'll adjust the tubes where they need to be and we should be set. And then we will be, we'll get this axle welded solid where we need it to be and then we'll add some trussing where we want it and then we should be basically done. We need to add the spring perches and shock mounts have to go on. And then this axle will be pretty well done. So let's get after it. So here I got these handy little number stamps. So we're just gonna stamp that one with a one, that one with a one, and this one over here with a two. and this one with a two. Then we know where they need to go back together. Now let's take this gear set apart. So now we just wanna clean these up real good. And these are basically gonna go in here like this, just like as if they were a bearing. Make sure that we're not crushing any of the threads. Now we got the shaft in here. We got these, the main caps capped down and that's, this here is how it should slide through nice and smooth. That way we know we're perfectly in line. No play. So now we'll be able to drop this into the housing, run our shaft in, and then we should be able to check for straightness. Now we're just gonna torque these down to where they need to be, and then we can run our shaft through. There she goes. Slide her all the way through and we're ready to slide our wheel bearing caps in. Clean these up real good. Give them a little shot of WD-40. Don't 
darn close. And that one's out. So there you can see how much it's out. Like it's not even an eighth of an inch on this side. And we'll go check the other side. So here, this side here is for sure an eighth inch. It's probably more like three sixteenths of an inch out. So we're going to have to cut a couple of them welds and bring this down to where we can slide this puck in. Okay, so I ground off three of the four tacks that I had. I tapped in this uh, bearing replicator and it's pretty snug, but I mean, I can turn it. So I'm gonna tack it again, fairly good. And then I'm gonna cut the tacks on this side, align it, put some tacks in there, and then hopefully I can drive this shaft out with this plastic uh, dead blow hammer. All right, so we got her all fully welded out. I'm just gonna let her cool till tomorrow morning. And then we'll be adding our spring perches and our shock mounts. And then she'll be ready for trussing and ready to put the locker in the gear set, set the gear set and stab her in and she'll be ready to go into the Zook. All brand new bearings, new seals, new everything. Okay guys, so now I took the time to level the diff. I got my pinion angle set the same as the Zook out there. When the spring perches are level, this sits at nine and a half degrees. Got my handy little uh, digital level finder. So she's basically ready to go. Uh, I got my spring perches set in four and three quarters from the inside of this flange to the center of the spring perch. And that's where those go. So I'm just gonna put my angle finder on there, make sure it's level, tack, tack, do that for both sides. And then we'll fully weld the spring perches on there and then we'll build up some shock mounts. So we're setting this up exactly the same way my Samurai is right now in a spring over lift kit, just like I got from Trail Tough. We're just replicating the diff setup that my Trail Tough spring over Epic Track suspension is. So we're just gonna replicate it and weld her up. So now we're going to make some shock mounts and I've already made four little pieces, mirrored pieces, all ground identically. We're going to take these five inch by five eighths bolts, we're going to cut the heads off and we're going to cut the threads a little bit shorter and these little pieces are going to get welded in here like this and then that's 
what gets welded to the diff. So I'm gonna go cut these off in the saw and start fabbing these up. All right, now these shock mounts that we've got built, they go on eight inches from the inside of this flange to the center of the shock mount. And you just basically level them. And they're the same level as your spring purchase. So I've already got them marked. I'm just gonna go ahead and weld them in. Pretty good. Pretty good. So now we can basically rotate this. We don't need to worry about keeping anything level no more. Everything's tacked in. We're just gonna weld these in good and solid. So that about concludes this step of the hybrid diff build and uh, the next step that we're going to do is some trussing and uh, putting on our e-brake lines and, and uh, little holders I just want to get all that back done after it's trussed and then we're basically ready to put the air locker in and get this baby ready to mount in the uh, Samurai so if you guys are enjoying this sort of content and you're getting something out of it and you're learning and you just enjoy this type of content go ahead subscribe share like hit the bell to be notified make sure you turn on notifications so you get notified of every video that comes out if you want to follow me on instagram it's at fabin underscore adventures if you want to help support the channel i now joined patreon you can find a link in the description below and go in there and if you want to subscribe that's fine and uh, help support the channel and until next time, we'll catch you guys next Friday.